Hello everybody, Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today App Game Kit, or the game creators, the makers of App Game Kit, just released the Tier 2 source code for App Game Kit on GitHub. Now let me throw the disclaimer right up front. Big asterisk on this one, this is not open source. So, not at all. 100%, this is not now a free product, this is not now an open source product. Basically, what they have done is made the source code available, in much the same way that uh, Unreal Engine has made their source code available, um, but even more limited than that, because they're actually gatekeeping on the repository. So, you can't just make pulls and commits to it. You can clone your own repository, uh, but you can't commit back up to the trunk. So they're maintaining what goes in and out of it. And this is to their tier two source. Now, if you've never heard of App Game Kit, it's kind of an interesting game engine. I've done a full review of it uh, on Game From Scratch a couple of years back. I will link that down below. So if you want to learn more about App Game Kit, it's down there. But basically the nutshell is it is a cross-platform game framework uh, with two tiers to it. Tier 1, actually we'll go with two, Tier 2 because Tier 2 is the bit that was released today. That is the low-lying cross-platform C++ code that the rest is built upon. So if you want to um, use the Tier uh, 1 layer, which is sort of... Um, higher level, higher level tooling, a basic type language. Well, the tier two layer is C++ code on the bottom end. So if you want to work uh, closer to the metal, you could work with tier two. If you wanted to work at a higher level, you could, or you were just beginning programming, you could start with tier one. And that's what I've always liked about App Game Kit. It allows you to transition from, uh, you know, this high level friendly language to getting into the lower level guts. And now you're actually able to extend it yourself. So that's what this, this source release enables you to do. So let's look at exactly what you get here. So here we are on App Game Kit site. You'll see here they've got a link basically saying tier two uh, you know, repository now available. Uh, here's a bit of an explanation of exactly what is going on here. But the most important part is ultimately over here on GitHub. I will throw the GitHub link down below as well. Um, but essentially, the page here, you go back to here. This is the one you're interested in. This is a full-blown repository of the Tier 2 stuff. So if you want to do code development using C++, using App Game Kit, you now can. But again, this is not open source. So the source code is available, but you have no rights to it. So you can't uh, fork it. You can't do anything with it for the most part. Anything that you commit back up to them becomes their ownership. So if you want to work for free for a game creator, by all means, do all the coding in the world and commit back to them. And essentially, that's what's going to happen. You're going to see people in the community extend App Game Kit. So just a few weeks ago, someone did um, Kotlin and Java bindings for AGK which is cool. Uh, community contribute to these kind of projects all the time. And what this does is makes App Game Kit a little bit more accessible, a little bit more open. And if you want to get in there and try it out, you can just basically download this code, open up the appropriate um, project. So for example, Visual Studio 2017 is your language of choice. Just download it, open up this solution, and you are off to the races. So getting started with this guy is very, very, very simple. Now again, this does not include the tier one stuff. So if you want the high level experience, you still have to go ahead and download and purchase App Game Kit. Available on Steam. It's on sale all the time. It's normally available for like 15, 20 bucks or even less when it's on sale. So this is not an expensive engine by any definition of the word. But the part that we should definitely make clear of here is so here's what we're seeing so the best aspect of our repository access is why we include other developers in helping us expand the commands in tier two uh, when possible we recommend any new commands are coded in c so they are cross-platform where new commands are truly cross-platform they can then be considered for inclusion into the tier one app game kit so basically they're trying to make it so other people extend the low level technology so their high level technology gets better as a result but the part that you should really pay attention to is the license here it is expressly made clear this is not an open source project and all materials are copyright the copy uh, the game creators limited and any work submitted to the repository is automatically given over to the game creators limited to use for any purposes and all ip and copyright transfer over to the game creators limited you may use this repository to help improve app game kit tier 2 to work on freelance contracts uh, from the uh, game creators and also to compile a new tier 2 library for your own use under the terms of the app game kit eula provided that you own a copy of App Game Kit. So essentially, if you own App Game Kit, you can use this to extend App Game Kit. You don't have to give it back to them. So you can use it 100% on your own, but you do need to have a license. 
But if you make any changes and submit them back to um, the game creators, they're the game creators to so do with as they wish. They own them and they're there. So like for safe as a hypothetical example, you added a pathfinding algorithm uh, that you invented on your own and you submitted it up to them. Uh, they now have the rights to it. And then the part that's a little tricky here, uh, the IP rights transferred there. I don't know if you invented your own algorithm, if it would come and become their algorithm. Hard to say, but that's actually what they're claiming. But the truth of the matter is that's a pretty out there scenario is not likely something to happen. So the nutshell version of this is if you are an existing app game kit developer and you wanted to work at the lower level, the great news is you now basically have the entire source code access to the tier two layer. Uh, if you are not an app game kit developer, I think you can now, I'm not 100% on this one, I haven't tried it myself, but I believe you could download this repository and start working with it at the code level without having to actually bought anything, but you don't have any rights to actually distribute your code. So if you want to actually use their product, in any way whatsoever, you are going to have to get a license yourself. Uh, so this is mostly for existing app game, app game kit developers so that they either can write their own extensions or as a community, they can try to improve this commercial project. So in no ways is this an open source license. Uh, you have no ability to take the code away from here. Um, you should basically be sure to go through the app game kit EULA with a fine tooth comb. And if you are working on a competitive product, you probably want to stay away from this kind of a license with a 10 foot pole, just basically this, you know, to keep yourself in a clean room type environment. But for the majority of developers, if you just want to get in there, check out app game kit, poke around and develop. And now's your opportunity. The tier two stuff is there. And like I said, this is a little confusing in the terminology, but the tier two stuff is actually the low level stuff uh, where the T1 stuff is the higher level stuff. So a lot of ways you can think of there's a lot of game engines out there that are built over top of lower level technologies such as SDL. Uh, this case, the lower level technology is the tier two layer. So hopefully that made sense. So I've struggled with how to actually title this because, you know, I, I am technically right uh, by saying the source code was released, but it is not open source. So again, a lot of disclaimers being put out there. Don't want to make it look like I was clickbaiting it, but you know what? Designing snappy graphics is already tricky enough as it is. Uh, doing this one as, you know, app game kit source code released asterisk tier two only for existing users, license limited, see below for more details. Did not make for a really great title screen. So I didn't go that route. So if the title came across a little click lady, I hope I threw enough disclaimers in there that uh, you know that's not my purpose I never do that on this channel I think if you guys know uh, from my past behavior I generally try to stay away from clickbaity stuff so I was not intending that this way but it was kind of a hard one to report because they opened their source sorry they released their source but they didn't open it up and I hope that distinction has been made clear in this video anyways uh, let me know what you think down below what do you think of the app game kit it is a cool framework if you're looking to stay a little you know lower level or code oriented you know not like a high level editor environment like you've got with unity or Godot or anything like that it's more of a, a code based thing but there are a bunch of tools available etc there's a lot of there's a pretty large community out there um, it, it's a cool project uh, it kind of sits in its own realm. Now, the one of the things that's actually a little interesting is if you go to the forums on this one, there are some people that think that this move is like a step towards deprecation of the engine. And if you're an app game kit developer, I'd be interested to know what do you actually think? Do you think this is like the beginning, the end or the end of the beginning or, or what? Or you have no interest in app game kit whatsoever? Hey, let me know that down below too. All right. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.